replacing the steering head bearings on an ST4S Ducati. You need to strip the bike down to approximately this point here and then you need to remove the clocks from the bike if you support the bike on ratchet straps if you've got a garage roof that is um, check how much your forks are poking through your top yoke you can also use a pin through your front engine mount and axle stands So another picture of the ratchet straps showing you that the hooks of the ratchet straps are nowhere near the bike so you don't damage anything you're going to get a close up of the ratchet the axle stands here and a trolley jack the reason we're doing it is because you can go to places like Trento in Italy which this picture is of There's another picture of axle stand on the other side here is a picture of a trolley jack with a piece of wood underneath the bike just to make sure nothing's going to fall off check the distance that your forks poke through the top <laughs> the top yoke check where all your cables go take photographs do diagrams um, oh I don't know what that picture is there here's another reason oh that's the left hand side um, stuff on the frame which you're going to remove some bolts so you can expose the clamp bolts in the bottom yoke to slide the fork so it, get the top handlebar and tie it to the fairing on the other side get the expansion bottle and undo it to expose the clamp bolts on the bottom yoke so you can slide the fork out here's a Stelvio part another reason why you're doing this to your bike you can bungee cord the left hand handlebar onto the frame for the mirrors take the top yoke off and undo the cap oh it looks like the bottom yoke is out and it's kind of rusty which is a bad sign here is a rusty bearing in the bottom of the frame um, oh, this is going to be looking into the frame to see the lip of the races for the bearings here are the bearings which you're going to knock out with a, a sturdy pin the bottom seal you can cut with a pair of side cutters and then that means you can bend it over and use a chisel, once the chisel is moving it move the thing about, put a screwdriver in so you can move it a bit further then you can use a bearing type thing to whack it, the bearing off fit the new bearings into the bottom yoke fit the bearing races into the bottom of the frame use a soft face mallet and if you can get a, some sort of driving bush it's fitting the bearing into the top of the frame use grease pack the top bearing and the bottom bearing um, when you fit it the grease should squeeze at the sides in this picture and there you go job done